What's up guys? Once again back at it. Another nice day out here. Just leaving the house. Seeing what I can get into. Boondozer. Might have some conversation along the way. We'll see. Let's go for a ride. So, Thursday I did a an extra route in the afternoon uh, with the high school kids. And there was only a few on the bus. And after some got off the bus, um, after some of the kids got off the bus, and it was just like probably about five, five of them left, it was all boys, they struck up a conversation just out of nowhere about religion and that, and asked me my opinion. And I was reluctant to say anything at first. Really not supposed to talk about that kind of stuff. You know. Uh, but anyway, I gave him my opinions on it. And I also let him know, you know, if you want to believe, that's great. Everybody, you know, everybody should be free to believe what they want to believe and that. And, and I didn't really say much. I didn't really go into too much detail of why I'm not a believer. Or if you want to put a label on me, an atheist. Um, but they were surprisingly mature. And, uh, and them just bringing up the conversation to begin with. was different something I never really experienced with kids on a bus so it was very interesting but they were very intelligent, well-spoken young men, and I appreciated it. And I hope that they can go into, a, into their adult lives being the same way. Sometimes adults can learn a lot from kids. And also, they had nothing negative to say about me being an atheist. They could see where I come from, which I thought was interesting. Did you see that? Did you see that bug? That was Jesus. Jesus did that. Jesus, you suck. I probably got bug guts all over my face. Son of a... I'm going to keep that in the video because I want people to see that. That was awesome. Bastard. Bastard bugs. God, I hate the South. Anyway. Let's do some riding. Yeah, I'm in one of those weird 
little funks that you get in where you're not really enjoying the ride you're just out doing it because you need to uh, like this whole ride so far I've been I've just had that sick feeling like I can't get home quick enough I hate that hate having that feeling but the good thing is is when you can beat that feeling and go ahead and do it get it done that's the same thing if you go to the gym or anything like that anything like this that is a strenuous activity that you you don't have to do but you're doing it because it's in your in your blood to do sometimes it's all you can do and I am feeling the funk it's the I want to get home take a shower and relax and be lazy kind of funk let's follow these guys since they didn't stop at the stop sign let's just keep it going look at them marshmallows oh marshmallows over here mmm s'mores hey that made me feel a little better maybe I need some s'mores all right let's keep grinding out the miles it'll be over soon enough that I can take a shower and relax well I don't feel like doing too much talking right now I'm trying to concentrate I got one of those bathroom problems that I need to take care of I had taco salad last night anyway had taco salad last night and then later on that night I had a burrito uh, what we made it's stuff we made at home and I use a lot of hot sauce I use like three different kinds of hot sauce and I need to get home I'm about four miles from home so I may not get much video in between here and home but we'll see all right guys I'm home sorry I didn't get much video but just didn't have the time gotta take care of some business get up Whoa, let me do that again. Guys, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. Even especially when you have to get home and go to the bathroom. We'll see y'all later. Let's get this done. Oh, yeah. Anyway, guys, how you doing? Uh, I'm going to add this on to my cycling video. Uh, of course, I already talked about the one thing on the school bus um, with the kids bringing up religion and, and all that stuff, which was, uh, it ended up being a pretty decent conversation. <clears throat> now I'm going to bring up something a little different uh, that has to do with people today and raising children and having a relationship and uh, the finding time to uh, have your own time and be your own person and all these things I'm gonna try and not make this a long uh, a long subject here but uh, from what I can tell from what I see of a lot of people uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's pretty much uh, the kids that were born in the middle and the mid 90s 
up to today. <clears throat> There's a lot of 20 something year olds out there that are They're, they're not um, they're not handling things correctly when it comes to relationships when it comes to responsibilities and such they're just not doing it you're having all kinds of failed marriages you're having all kinds of baby daddy uh, type issues and all this really started in my opinion from the mid 90s up to today <clears throat> I almost think it's a cool kind of thing, a kind of a group to be in, to, to be in this whole broken marriage, baby daddy thing, and play of this, and play of that, and and just all the drama and all that stuff, and I think it's become a lifestyle, and it's what a lot of young people are looking at as normal, and that could not be further from the truth, that is an absolute horrible, disgusting joke to play on yourself on those that you care about and if there are kids involved it's absolutely a disgrace and uh, I, I just I don't know I, I can't follow it it's disgusting it, it just boggles my mind how people are anymore um, but when it comes to relationships and that whenever you're starting out in a relationship it's you don't get a lot of me time there's not a lot of me time in there. Uh, you're trying to build a relationship. And that's the first thing that should be on your mind, is building a relationship. That means spending time with one another. That means uh, each of you doing things with one another that the other enjoys doing and learning about that person. And possibly benefiting from that. If you have someone that's active and likes to do things, you can both benefit from that. Um, and and you got people that are house uh, uh, condemned to their house to where they don't like to go anywhere um, and all they like to do is play video games or sit on Netflix all day or their cell phones all day or a computer all day or a laptop whatever the case may be that is no way to start a relationship and that is no way that you're going to have a successful relationship when you're sitting and I'm gonna just talk about guys for right now uh, when you're a guy and you're sitting over there at the TV be it in here in the main living room or you're sitting in a bedroom or you're sitting in another room or whatever and all you're doing is playing video games 24 hours a day not 24 hours a day but you're managing to get out and go work a little bit here and there and you're coming home and you're not paying your woman any attention you're not paying kids any attention you're not doing anything around the house you're not doing nothing all you're doing is playing video games you're gonna screw up you're gonna lose your woman you're gonna lose your kids and someone else is gonna be raising those kids uh, I see it every day I see posts online all the time of people you know with memes and stuff uh, how they'd rather be alone and by themselves and have to deal with this or that or, or or just whatever it's just the world has gotten so uh, self-centered and to the point to where they don't want to try and have these relationships and get out in the world and do things and socialize and and and, and make something of the of themselves out there that, that they've just forgotten all they all they care about doing is sitting at home playing their video games smoking pot drinking and, and just wasting their time um, there's better things to do there's better ways to do that as well uh, when you're in a relationship and that's even if you can get in a relationship because most of most women are not looking for guys like that most good women not a lot of them in the world either uh, but most good women are not looking for guys that do that they want a guy that's gonna be there for them come home have some conversation Come home, interact with the kids, whether it's a newborn or whether it's an 18-year-old grown kid. Um, <coughs> there's a lot of things that uh, these new generations are lacking, and and it's the ability to have a good, solid relationship. It takes hard work, 
dedication, just like going online and coming out the victor in a tournament on your game. Um, if that's all that's on your mind, then you're going to have a failed relationship 100% of the time. And you can't get mad whenever that woman goes and finds another man to take your place. Someone who's going to do what's needed. Again, there's a time and a place for everything. Um, and you have to find that balance. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having me time, but having two hours, four hours, six hours of me time probably isn't going to work for a for the majority of the relationships. Um, that includes going out to see your personal friends, be it the guy or the girl. Um, you know, you guys are supposed to be together. You're supposed to be a team. You're supposed to be, you know, enjoying life together. Especially in those early years and that early time when you're just getting started and things are new. You're supposed to be learning about one another. You're supposed to be hanging out and having fun together. That's what relationships are about. That's it. We're not about being alone and being left alone. If that's what you want, you shouldn't have gotten a relationship in the first place. And all this goes for women as well. Uh, an actual good woman in the world is very difficult to find. If you go on Instagram, or you go on Twitter, or you go on Facebook and, and all these other uh, social media outlets what do you see you see girls with their face in the camera these same stupid provocative stupid pictures boobs up boob showing always a butt shot always some kind of a stupid butt shot middle fingers stupid animal faces on them drinking being slutty kissing all over everything and everybody and going down on a beer bottle and all these different things and twerking and just being a disgusting piece of trash and that's what that's that's what you see out here the majority of the time absolutely disgusting nobody wants to be with that that's not relationship material and you shouldn't be doing that especially if you have kids and there's a lot of women that do um, I, I don't know what the I don't know what the uh, what the cure is. I know my little video is not going to cure anything, but I just thought that I would get a few of my thoughts out there. Uh, if you're not going to work at a relationship, don't get in them. Uh, don't be counting on people to take care of you. Uh, guys are bad about that. A lot of times they'll get with a woman and expect them to take care of them like their mom did. That's not what a woman wants. That's not what a real woman wants. She don't want to take care of a kid. She wants a man to be there with her by her side and to go through a life and a relationship together doing adult things and not being with someone who's a lazy turd. <clears throat> everyone in the relationship is accountable all of you are supposed to be doing housework all of you are supposed to be taking care of the kids all of you are supposed to be working all of you are supposed to love one another don't wait on the other one to say I love you or hug you or kiss you first it's all of your responsibilities to do it if you're not willing to do that you're not going to have a relationship and it's not going to be a relationship worth having anyway so Anyway, that's kind of something that's on my mind. Um, don't know what the answer is. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, uh, leave your thoughts, your comments, suggestions, all that good stuff down there if you would. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that wonderful stuff. I do all this for free. I hope you enjoy it. I try to once in a while have some sort of discussion in my videos as well because nobody wants to just watch my videos and see me ride a bicycle. Most people. So, anyway. Once again, I'm going to sign off. Get up, get out, get ready and do it to it. And do the best you can. Don't be lazy.
try hard. That's all you can do in life. We'll see y'all later.